would be your advice for us who's living in this day and age? Uh, how can we deal with this Akhir Zaman all the time? Well, what would be your advice? First of all, I give advice to those who have children. Because you are the most, you are facing the greatest danger. The one who have children. I don't think you have much time left. If you wait for another few years, it will be too late. Maybe I know what you don't know. <laughs> Because I'm 76, 76 and I've been in the field like this for 50 years now. You will lose your children. They'll become like zombies. You can talk to them, they won't listen to you. Your children will lose the capacity of memory of the past. The past for them is unimportant. Your, your children will have no interest in what's coming ahead. The future is of no importance, sir. Your children will be addicted to the present. Addiction. We are only concerned with the present. This is the only thing important, sir. So whether the wave goes in this direction or the wave goes in that direction is of no importance to us. We live in the here and the now. And the here and the now is something that the Prophet spoke about. Alayhi salatu was salam. He said, the time will come when time will move very fast. A whole year will pass like a month. A whole month will pass like a week. A whole week will pass like a day. A whole day will pass like an hour. A whole hour will pass like the amount of time it takes to kindle the fire. So if you have a, a motorway, written you call it a motorway, and you have several lanes, and this one is the fast lane, that one is the slow lane, and this one is your faster. Your children will all become imprisoned in the fast day. In the fast day. And they become now addicted to the fast life. Everything moving instantly, fast, fast, fast. You go to the supermarket, you don't have budget, you don't have to take out your wallet anymore to pay. What the Quran is on him. <laughs> no. Either you just swipe a car, or tomorrow you just put your finger. Up. Yeah. I was flying from Geneva to London on British Airways. What did the buy about the water? I took out some Swiss francs. They said, no, you better pay electronically. Yeah. I was flying from Luton to Glasgow. I didn't know that the ticket was only for a carry-on, and I had a suitcase. So I had to pay for the suitcase. So I took out British pounds. They said no. And in Britain, they said no. You had to pay electronically. That's the world coming now. Everything fast. The fast thing. So if you go to a take up, what do you do about? You have to take the smartphone with you. If you don't take your smartphone with you, in the Ateka, but Marbia, you die. You can't survive. No. But that thing of it. If I take you to the remote countryside, the children, go let's listen to the sound of the river. And let's listen to the breeze passing through the trees. And listen to the birds. But life is very slow. In the countryside. The children say, we cannot survive here even one day. You want to go back to the shopping mall. Huh? You've lost your children already. The smartphone took them away. The television took them away. And the schools which are brainwashing them. 
And if you allow your children to be lost this way, Allah will punish you. Because they are innocent. They are not responsible. No. Allah will hold you responsible on judgment day. Wait for judgment day, you see. Your child becomes a homosexual. Your daughter becomes a lesbian. And now you crying. But on judgment day, Allah will punish you. Why? Because Allah said, Kuba Fusakum wa Ahlikum Nawa. Protect yourself and protect your family from the fire. So my advice is, you don't have much time left. Maybe it's already too late. Take your children, take your family out to the city. Take them to the remote countryside. They're not going to like it there. They will say, we can't live in this place. Too boring. <laughs> no internet over here. How can we live without the internet? That's the way to say that. Take them out of Britain, go back to Pakistan. But when you go back to Pakistan, don't go to Karachi. Don't go to Lahore. Don't go to Pindi. Go into the countryside. The remote countryside. That's my first advice to you. My second advice to you is take your money out of the bank. Because once the paper money goes, and they've already started the process, they started with India. They're using India as the guinea pig. And the Indian government, which is now hand in love with Israel, demonetized the two biggest Indian currency notes, 1,000 rupees and 500 rupees. Why? The European Union is demonetizing the 500 euro note. Is there a 100 pound note? 50, the highest. What the 15 number the last? <laughs> no? They will do, they will move the 15 number. So that as incrementally you are being sucked into the electronic monetary system. And paper money is only used for peanuts. Peanuts. You see? Once the paper money is gone, your money is trapped. You can't take it out. No, you can only transfer from one account to another. And if they don't like your profile, they look at your profile and they have the genes supporting them, eh? assisting them. They see no alcohol. Well, that's a bad sign. You should have maybe there. <laughs> From the time they see no alcohol in your profile, they know, they know who you are. So they'll come, they'll freeze your account, or they'll take money out of your account without your permission. And then, of course, you send an email to check him out. <laughs> I, I send it back to you. Too late. What you should do now is to take your money out of the account. Don't keep it in paper. Try to convert it to gold, silver, land, animals. The Prophet said, land and animals. And in the Sunnah, gold and silver. It's my answer to you. Yeah, that's the last question. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.